Throughout yesterday, the House of Representatives was busy debating over the National Defense Authorization Act, which is, of course, the bill that funds the military, the Defense Department, and as you might be able to predict, Republicans in the House took this as an opportunity to speak out against, you guessed it, woke. Um, wokeness in the military. The military has become too woke or something. And also speaking out against recent abortion policy when it comes to the military, plus against uh funding to Ukraine, kind of a lot of that type of stuff being heard as well. And as I was walking through these clips, trying to decide what am I going to cover, what's notable here, I was just getting exhausted. All these Republican Congress people grandstanding and being dishonest and posturing. And then I come across a clip that perfectly sums up what I was feeling in that moment. And it's uh, Congresswoman Sidney Kamlager Dove responding to Marjorie Taylor Greene's recent rant in perfect fashion, and I'll show this to you, uh, then we'll discuss further. If our Department of Defense wants to defend America, we should be defending our border and not proclaiming our righteousness, talking about a war in Ukraine. With that, Mr. Speaker, I yield. Gentlewoman's time has expired. For uh, The gentlewoman from California is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I request an Advil and yield one minute to Representative Joe Wilson from South Carolina. I request an Advil. Exactly. It's exactly how I was feeling. <laughs> and she actually has to be there. I have to watch clips from it. Yikes. And let me give you a couple more examples as to why you would feel this if you're a reasonable person watching this uh, debate go on. Anna Paulina Luna, who's also a MAGA Republican, got up to speak out against humanitarian aid to Afghanistan. And here was her logic. I yield the gentlelady from Florida 30 seconds. The gentlelady is recognized. Chairman, I couldn't help but um, pull out my pocket constitution, and I couldn't seem to find anywhere in here where it says we need to fund programs for humanitarian aid for women and, and children in Afghanistan. So with that, I just wanted to point that out, and I yield my time. I reserve. The gentleman reserve. Mic drop. Now, first off, before we get to the substance, if you want to call it that, of her point, why would you say that? Why would you word it that way? Why would you include women and children? just to make yourself look horrible <laughs> instead of just saying aid to Afghanistan or aid to where we're talking about instead specifying. Oh, and by the way, what I'm up here speaking out against in a way that makes absolutely no sense, it would go to women and children. I just want you to know that that's what I'm trying to prevent. Bizarre. Um, but who's going to tell her, should we tell her Anna, every single law that can be made isn't specified in the constitution. Does she get that? Every single item that will be funded isn't specified in the constitution i feel like <laughs> now i'm just being mean but i don't care <laughs> she just got the con like read the constitution for the first time or or found out what the constitution was <laughs> and it's like oh first chance i get i'm gonna whip out my pocket constitution and go oh is it in this thing my best friend see the constitution anna gives Congress the ability to make laws, and as long as the laws that Congress is making are constitutional, then they can do a bunch of different specific things, including in the Constitution, it doesn't say Anna Paulina Luna will get this salary and this pension and these benefits, but Congress has the ability to specify all of that, just like how they generally have the ability to make decisions on the military and funding, and one of those things could be going towards women and children in Afghanistan. But uh, because it doesn't specifically say that, Anna Paulina can't wrap her head around it. Very wacky. And then why not just some overt racism? And this is uh, Eli Crane. Arizona. Well, Mr. Chairman, though, that was unbelievably inspiring. My amendment has nothing to do with whether or not colored people or black people or anybody can serve. Okay. It has nothing to do with color Mr. Your Speaker. skin, your, any of that stuff. What mm, yeah. And obviously, he said he misspoke. But that's what's going on in the House of Representatives, I guess I'll say. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before all the clips are able to be uploaded to the YouTube channel, plus get the bonus show on the weekends, you can do so by going to LukeBeasleyShow.com slash membership. That's LukeBeasleyShow.com slash membership, and there's a link in the description.